All right, so we always get a bunch of good questions about, uh, you know, what a rally computer is and how a rally computer works. So this is a real basic one. Um, this is something that you'll see in all different kinds of rally cars. Uh, this is one of the more modern rally computers that you're going to see out there because it's got all of the functions that you need and really none of the stuff that you don't. The, the main purpose of a rally computer, uh, it's basically a glorified odometer. You know, it, it'll record uh, mileage in this case, you can switch it to kilometers, but mileage, you know, we've gone 2.1 or 2.18, sorry, miles since the last time that this incremental mileage was cleared and 6.11 miles total. Um, so say you were driving some distance that you knew was going to be uh, 120 miles, but you know, 10 miles in you had to take a turn, 12 miles after that you took a turn, 13 miles after that you took a turn. This top one, you'd zero in between those little incremental ones and allow that uh, overall mileage to keep adding up so that you knew you know how close you were to the overall end goal um, of where you're trying to get to so really basic navigation tool there um, but this will do quite a bit more than that um, you can also use it as an odometer with a speedometer um, so you can tell you know how far you've gone obviously how fast you're going now it'll also record things like uh, your fastest overall mileage and stuff like that so you can check it out later um, but that's no big deal you can also use this uh, well just like I said you know this car since the last time that was cleared the fastest this car has gone was 87 miles an hour um, so that's wonderful um, that's just additional information if you do need it or again you can go in this mode where you've got your mileage on the top uh, so you can see how far you've gone and then how much fuel you have remaining in the bottom because these are basically made in Europe for the most part. Um, this is in liters. There, there is a way to tell, um, you, there is no way in this car to switch this to gallons, um, but that's in liters and that's pretty easy to work with and we can show you how that uh, can happen later. You can also use it as a clock. So really those are the main functions. You're really only using a rally computer as an odometer for the most part. You can use it as a clock, you can use it as your fuel gauge, you can do other things with it, but primarily um, you're gonna use it in this setting right here where you're using an incremental mileage at the top and an overall mileage at the bottom. Um, and again, you can clear this every time you take a turn. You know, okay, I know it's 2.7 miles to the next corner. When you get there, you clear the top one. You know it's 3.5 miles to the next one. And that'll help you a lot if for some reason um, it, your odometer isn't that accurate in this car these little monet guys this runs off a of gps um, it doesn't have to but it's in gps mode which is very very accurate so things like in the old days you had to worry about well my odometer's off when i spin the tires or my odometer's off when i lock up the tires so you might do a rally in the snow and you might find that five miles into it, your odometer reads seven miles because you spit in the rate of tires like crazy. Um, so the GPS setting is really nice and it helps for all of that. It's a more, much more accurate mileage um, than using a wheel speed sensor. This does have that as a backup. You can switch to that, um, but you don't use that primarily. So that's really all you need to know. You can do different things with this. Um, you can set a distance, whoops, uh, which is easy to do. Um, if, if you need to, you could measure an actual mile, you can do different things with that, um, which is fine, not entirely useful. The different settings that you've got, um, this is all basic stuff, you know, okay, you can go in here. Oh, let's see, can I change this? Oh, you can change the fuel to gallons, look at that. Learn something new every day. We're gonna actually save that. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's now we're in gallons. Telemetry, auxiliary, those are the different probes that you've got. Um, going to wheel speed sensors, I think, um, and the advanced stuff, the language, great. You don't mostly need any of that. Um, like I said, the fuel gauge, if you're not sure what liters are, you can leave it on this, which is nice. If you're just on a transit or you're just driving around for whatever reason, now you've got a bar that fills up. Um, okay, I switched it to gallons. Uh, again, like I said, I wasn't aware you could do that before, but here we are. We know we're at 11.4 gallons. That means it's probably a 12 gallon tank um, and it's darn near full. Um, so that was useful when it was in liters, but now I don't have to do that anymore because I switched it to gallons, so that's wonderful. Um, other things you can do, you can gauge the performance of your car, you know? If you find some pavement or from snow or some gravel, different surfaces that you might be testing on, you can see how quickly you actually do, um, you know, a zero to 60 run or a quarter mile run or something like that. Those are really the only two options, not the most useful things, but you know, it's good to know the about thing, the GPS setup, you can turn the GPS on or off, you know. Maybe you're in a place where you just can't get the satellites. It's really rare these days not to be able to get at least three satellites, but I guess it could happen to you, um, in which case you can run it off 
of a wheel speed sensor, um, which is again pretty easy to set up. Um, you can go to the calibration here, you can calibrate the distance, um, which you'd have to shut the GPS off to do, but basically all you would do here is find a measured mile somewhere. Whether, you know, okay, a mile marker on the highway from one to the next might not be the most accurate, um, but it's a pretty good guess. The big issue is um, if you're running off of a wheel speed sensor, and you're switching from large tires to small tires or vice versa, that's gonna throw off um, what you've got going on because yeah, so that wheel speed sensor is registering 621 pulses per mile. That's revolutions of the wheel. That means the 620 revolutions of that wheel uh, against that sensor is going to be one mile. Well, I tell you what, if you put a bigger tire on there, you're going to have fewer pulses per mile. If you put a smaller tire on, it's going to have to turn more times to go a mile. Uh, so that's where that comes into play. Another really neat thing about having the GPS set up. Uh, and like I said, we haven't had a problem with it rallying anywhere in America or Canada running it on the GPS. Sure, uh, there are places in the world, I bet, where you could go and that would be a problem. But there you go. Calorie the fuel um, well that's pretty self-explanatory empty your fuel tank fill it back up uh, that type of deal and you're gonna be good amount of fuel in tank yeah we're not gonna play with any of that stuff right now but those are the main settings that you're really going to be playing with. Um, but like I said, when, when you're rallying, really, you're going to be in this mode. You're using interval miles and total miles and cruising along doing that. If you need to, you can use it as a speedo at the bottom with the click of a button. Max speed doesn't matter. You can watch your fuel, you know, if you're on a transit, if you're coming into service and you're not sure if you need a refuel, um, that's super handy. The clock, obviously very handy and you can set that, you know, to the different rallies that you're at. Uh, you know, they don't run off an atomic clock. So you might go to one rally in Pennsylvania and their clock's a little different than, you know, a rally that you went to a year before somewhere else. So you can set that exactly with the organizer's time, which is really nice. Uh, but most of the time, that's where you're going to be running. And uh, yeah, really easy, simple system, actually, once you get the hang of it. Some of the older ones and certainly some of the more advanced ones are a lot more complex. But that's really all you need in a rally car. And uh, have fun with it.